Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of my Concrete Jungle series. It is the morning of day 13 and we are running really low on food now. So we're going to spend a little bit of time this morning going around trying to find some eggs. Actually, you know what? I, I should have actually seen how much... Um, where do we have our corn and potatoes here? We might be able to make some meat stew. I was too busy doing other stuff last night. I completely forgot to actually make food. Um, so let me see here. We're going to need water. we have any corn? I thought we had corn. Doesn't look like we have anything. So we don't have anything to make meat stew with. All right, we can't make veggie stew either because we don't have corn. Uh, okay, well, there's that. So uh, let's go <laughs> work on the base then. We got a bit of coin. So, I mean, I don't think the vending machine is restocked. Oh, it's day 13, so it may have. So the trader's, trader is restocked today. Go ahead and use this. We got a guy outside too. Uh, the trader's restocked today. Um, so we could go check out what he's got for us. And I might as well make while we're at it. I just need five. I guess we'll make one bacon and eggs. While we wait for the people to show up at the door here. Hey, you. Come on. Let's rumble. Oh. Fuck it. Get up. Ass shots. I didn't want to use the ammo, but... Starting to run low on 762. Oh, hey! Guys, my house! It's my house! Ow. Alright, let's get down here then. God, the lag is still really bad. It's fine there for a while. Well, at least you're helping me clear my yard. Oh, we got another big mom over there too. Looks like the, uh, the the tourist convention came through town last night. Fucking prima donna. See that guy? Oh, you're killing me. Well, the one good thing about getting the XP for these guys at this moment is we needed a point because I want to put a point into um, uh, Pummel Pete, so we can get our. Um, Make a level three bat. That'll help us out. Like, look at the the lag. I don't. Oof. Love tap. Love tap. All right, let's get inside. Our leg is almost healed now from yesterday. Um, but now we got that point. Go ahead and do. Uh, where are you here? Humble Pete. All right, uh, so let's go ahead and take you and you and you and you. Uh, how much duct tape do we need now for the bat? I think it's four, right? Two. That's not bad. Uh, okay. Two of those going. We can drop this and this back in there. And then we should be able to make baseball bat. What are we missing? Another, oh, we're missing one forged iron. That figures. Uh, we can make it when we get out there. Let's do... We need two leather. Keep that on us. Because I should be able to... I made a bunch of stuff last night, which is why we burned through all our forged iron. I'm going to bring a workbench with me today, too, because we might need it while we're out there. And I switched back to, to bring in the bow because the bow is like... It seems to be doing way better than the rifle just because we don't have any points in it. Well, we don't have any points in the bow either, do we? I don't think we do. Now we got a point in Gunslinger though, which didn't help with the pistol. Got a point there, which we're going to need. Yeah, so we didn't have a pipe point in the rifle or into shotguns. Eh, whatever. Not that worried about it. Oh, there we go. Enough forged iron now. Did I put the forged iron away? I, too, I did too, didn't I? All right, now we can get the bat going. Let's crap that. And we can leave you here. And let's get the hell out of here. So I got the hammer. Pretty sure I got everything. I got the hammer, the cobble, the wood, uh, the concrete. We got our concrete blocks. 
workbench in case we need to make more blocks. So I think that's going to be pretty good, I think. I should probably make a... Um, ah, you know what, never mind. I was going to say I should make a land claim block, but I don't think it matters. So the fog's really bad this morning. I couldn't see getting through here, so I'm going to actually take these trees down because we could probably use a little bit of extra wood today. That's what happened last time when I got stuck yesterday coming through here. I couldn't see as like going past these trees and then as I came out of the tree I hit I hit the uh, the guardrail there and got stuck in it. So this should at least get rid of that. Right? Well, maybe get rid of this tree too here. Yeah, man, that lag. I, I, got, I don't know. It's brutal. It really is just totally brutal. I'll put this one right here. Just so that we can cut some trees down if we're going through here next time. All right, let's get downtown. All right, so here we are. This is where we're going to build a horde base. Park the bike right here. So for this base design, I did an offline build of it. I didn't test it because I, I don't really like... Like, it's fine to do an offline base to see if it's going to work. I got no problem with that. People do it all the time. Uh, you're, and you're just, you build it to see if it's actually something that's going to function, right? Because you don't want to waste your time in-game. But I kind of like... That's the first time I've ever built a base offline because I wanted to see how many blocks it was going to take. Um, but I don't like the idea of testing it because I want to test it against a proper ward. If I'm going to do it, let's do it when we're recording, right? So the idea is we go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's take that one there. Take this one off. Is that going to be centered? Yeah, that's centered. So it's going to be a seven by seven bottom. Two, three, four. Okay, so that's the seven by seven. So let's take it. What do we got here? One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we got two, two, and because we can't put one on that block, because that's piece, that strip is a piece of concrete. So let's we gotta need to take two off this side, right? And then we'll be should be centered in the intersection here, so like that. So that should center it in the intersection. That is the ground level. All right, so that can be actually made with these. That's going to save me a bit of time to start. Now, realistically, what I was hoping to eventually do was to, like, dig up the ground below here before building. Because, like, these are 5,000 hit point blocks, and the asphalt underneath is, like, 1,500. So you kind of want to, like, if you're going to do it, you want to have the ground the same hit points as this part of the base. Especially if you're working with explosives, because the explosives do damage the ground, right? Alright, so that goes like that, and then we need a second layer here. Shit, I made a mistake. Ah, god damn it. Now I gotta knock this block out. So it's another problem of, like, using concrete blocks, is if you make a mistake, it's now you gotta spend the time knocking the damn block out. And this can't be here because this is where I'm going to be standing. And this is a little, like this has to be a half slab. Um, you'll see why in a second. Well, I'm glad I updated my tool skills because that made that a little bit easier. All right, so this is the center part. Let's go ahead and do this bit here. I can't make a mistake. So this part needs to have these in it. Now, re realistically, if I was going to do this like in an offline playthrough, I would build this as a 9x9 nine nine rather than a 7x7 seven seven, so that there's a 5x5 five five in the center here. And then you can put a block up the center, like right in the middle of the 5x5 uh, uh, five five to put a ladder on. This one's not going to have that, unfortunately. So, okay, so this part is going to be like this and like this on all four corners. So the idea is that these corners need to be stronger than these two, all the slots around the outside here. And we're going to go up one more. Okay, so now we can get rid of these out of our inventory. Go back to these. I'm going to have to make some more wood here. I may have to go cut some trees for this. Um, let's make another like 50 frames, I think. 
And then once we've got that, um, let's make another 100 concrete shapes. Yeah. It's 15 minutes. I mean, we'll, we'll get as many as we can done. So the idea behind this base is that we're going to make it so that we can throw pipe bombs down on the zombies. We want slots, and we want... Uh, is it this guy now? I'm trying to remember how I did it. Is it this guy, or is it the next one down? It's the next one. So we go with this guy. Right? Just want to make sure here. So that guy goes there, and then we do... Um, uh, shape, we want this guy next, and then we do... No, it's the same guy, sorry. Um, nope, we can use this one. Uh, advanced. So I'm just trying to think now... Nope, that was it. Along here. I think you can probably see now where I'm going with this. And then we'll copy the shape. Right? Like that. And then we do... Uh, shape, we want to go with this guy next, and we want to copy rotation. Come around this way. Okay, so that's the gist of the base. Now, they can barely see me in there. Now, cops will still spit at you. You can make that, you can go ahead and make this narrower, but it's it makes it harder to throw stuff through, right? So the idea is that it's, it's kind of basically like a bunker, right? Um... And the zombies will walk up, and they'll attempt to get to you this way. And you're basically staring straight at them. You can hit them, like, because now their head is, like, right on where you want the, their head to be. You can shoot them right in the face. And you can throw pipe bombs and everything right through there, and it'll roll down and explode right here. Now, in order to make sure they get to you, and this is the issue I found... Um, go with these one this time. The issue I found with this base before is that the zombies will, instead of coming this way... Because for something about the angle blocks they don't like, they will attempt to break through these walls here to get to you. And I know I don't know why that is. So in order to stop that... Uh, no. Uh, what am I doing? Shape. Um, we want to grab uh, the corner curved bit, which is not this one. There's so many of them now. It's, it should be in the classical shapes, but it's not. It is down here, this guy. So what we want to do with these guys is we're going to put them on the corners. Okay, now those are on the corners. Now we're going to go ahead and do shape. We're going to go back to the angle blocks and we're going to put uh, these guys first. We're looking towards downtown, which is probably not the best thing to be doing. Oops, that's the right shape. Let's go this way. Um... Advanced. Okay, so now what we're doing is we're basically going to build a funnel to get them to come in to our base here. So we're going to go with these blocks first and put them all the way around the outside. And I somehow... How the hell did that do that? I put the block down here and it missed and it put it on this side. I must have like somehow magically like gotten the block like through the center of these two somehow. I don't know, now I gotta spend stupid time digging this out. All right, that one's gone. Let's get this fixed properly here. Okay, so that, got, that has those done. Now you can see how it kind of creates a nice little funnel. So if they come along here, they'll slide in and kind of go up and towards you there. And then what you want to do is once you've got that done, um, you want to go to shape, and you want to grab the next one down, which is this guy. And then we're going to copy rotation. And basically, you just build it this way. Right? So now they've got an angle block, and they're going to want to come this way, in theory. Okay, so now in theory, what these wings do is it makes these corners three blocks thick. So the zombies calculate this as 15,000 hit points, and they're like, oh shit, that's too many. There's only 1,000 here, let's go through here. So they're going to attempt... This is my thought anyway. Whether it works or not, we're going to find out. But the, the, the thought is now that they're going to see this as being the weakest part, and they're going to attack here, which is where we're going to be standing and where we're going to be messing them up. So let's go ahead and get the rest of this part done. 
Okay, so that's that part filled in. Now we're gonna go ahead and just knock all this stuff in. It's gonna take a bit, so um, it'll give us lots of XP, and we're also hungry too, so I think after we get this part done uh, and knocked in, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go looking for um, some food. I'm gonna go back to the vending machine at Carl's, see if we can find something there, and then if not, we'll go back to the trader and grab some stuff there. Now this base, I want I want to say is like pretty close to being done, and it is. So I, like, I feel confident now that even if we had to run the horde tonight, we got plenty of time to be able to get this primary layer down. We have to go up two more blocks uh, from here, which isn't a problem. Um, and then once those two blocks are up and done on here, uh, we can lay a floor in, and that upper level, um, technically if you wanted to, you can make it your house. But that upper level will end up being the base part of the um, the uh, uh, walkway base that we're going to use as a backup. Now the the floor below us here, like like let's say I make a huge error and the zombies decide that they're going to just you know tear down the corner pillars. Now what do you do, right? Well, that's what the second base above this is for. Now I don't think they're going to tear down the corner pillars, but even if like. Since you're on 64 zombie max alive, the hordes later on, even with like a lot of wire fences and, and traps and stuff down here, they're going to get to the point where they're like smashing through the walls. And then once they get to that point, um, once they've break, broken the outside block and are, you, they've got one more block to go to get to you, uh, there's an airdrop. Uh, maybe that'll have food. Come on, lag is killing me here. Uh, regular blocks. Grab this one. All right, let's go grab that, um, and then we'll grab some food too, because we're all, like, I mean, this part is like almost done. So no matter what I've done with this, with all the game settings, no matter how I set them, um, lowering anti-aliasing, lowering lighting effects and stuff, the only difference that I get in lag is is like very very marginal difference. Um, it's not even enough to like warrant lower, like lowering my settings so I've tried to keep them relatively neutral but it doesn't seem to matter although when I go into um, task manager and have a look to see what kind of resources I'm using um, my graphics card is like maxed out it's using like all of the uh, all of its RAM so um, there isn't anything I can do about that unfortunately other than buy a new graphics card and I'm not at the point where I can actually afford that so uh, I got two kids going through college very shortly, so that's where all my money's going. Now, it was up here. I'm pretty sure it was up here. Please tell me we didn't drive all the way out here and... and only to lose where the airdrop was. No! I saw it coming down. I saw the smoke. Oh, there it is. Alright. I was really far away from it, and that smoke ended. So, I'm kind of glad I found it. It would have been a wasted trip. Really? Well, we can make mushroom seeds now. Hooray for that. Um, and we've got... Pipe rifle bundle. Wow, isn't that totally worth it? 82 rounds, though. I'm not going to say no to 82 rounds. We'll sell that pipe rifle. Alright, let's get back to the base. Alright, let's go to the vending machine. Alright, let's see what it's restocked here. Okay, chicken ration. Buy that. Buy some peas. Do we need drink? We don't need drink. We're good there. I've been drinking the coffee to break those blocks that we made the mistake on. That's a bit. All right, we're going to go ahead and take these cars apart, though, too, because we're going to need gas for the bike. We're running real low, and my wrench is right here. Ah, that's a little bit of gas. 39%. More than any adventurer needs. All right, let's get back to the base and get working on this thing. So this thing, when it's done, actually looks, it actually looks pretty cool. I gotta say, the uh, the bunker part of it. The top part's gonna look a little goofy, but the bunker part actually looks pretty good uh, when it's done. 
All right, let's grab this down and we'll get this knocked in. Okay, so that's the outside knocked in. Let's make a couple ladder blocks here, or a ladder block, to get up on top. Now this base um, doesn't have an easy way in and out, which is why like you kind of want to like, if you're going to do it, you make a nine by nine, have a center, like center piece that runs up the center here with a ladder that can go down and up. But like I said, I'm saving resources, so I didn't do that. Uh, do that, that makes it easier to get in and out of here. And we're gonna leave the floor currently. Uh, come on, come on, copy shape. Uh, leave the floor currently like this. I'm not sure if I'm gonna knock that in yet, but this gives us the perfect viewpoint, right? To look down on the zombies. So it's not so bad. Now, we gotta work on the upper part here. So this needs to go up another level. So how much concrete we have now? 66, not bad. Um, so we need to, um, where are we here? Copy rotation, because it's the right shape. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the next level on this thing, and we're back in a second here. All right, so there's the next level added. Now the next level we're gonna do, we're just gonna do it in cobble. Uh, I'm not gonna bother I'm doing it any other way. Uh, so let's make, um, let's make 100 shapes of cobblestone. That should take a little bit. I might throw the workbench down to get this part done, but uh, maybe not. Uh, where are we here? Wooden pieces. So we can copy uh, shape. Put that in there and that in there. Because we're going to have this up one floor. So this next floor that we do, this is technically the ground level of the base that's above this one. Right, so it's five blocks up. Now, you would, what you would do is you would build the walkway coming from either that side or this side here up and then towards the center, which is where you would be standing. You're gonna be off to one side here. Uh, I think it's right here. I'm pretty sure it's right here, right? And then they kind of walk up and across and then try and get to you this way. Uh, the reason why you do that, um, Actually, no, sorry, It's this is the center version, right? The original version I had had the doorway off to the side, the walkway doorway up to the side, and on this side there was angle blocks so you could throw stuff down on them. But the way I figured it out, you don't need to do that because uh, you put the door in the center, and then here and here on the wings sticking out are going to be um, protected, um, like a uh, protected, um, what do you want to call it, um, block... I don't know, protected extensions for um, uh, electric fences that are going to be run across here because when the zombies come across and start to walk towards it, they're going to walk right into electric fences. So that's how that's designed. So let me just throw this floor in real quick. Okay, so that's got the floor done there. I have, I'm not going to do the outside here just yet. Put that in there. Bring this down. Now where's my ladder? Did I pick it up? I guess I picked it up. Anyway, let's just put these on here. Okay, so now um, I'm going to choose to shoot this direction for the upper part of the base. I don't think we're going to get that part done for the horde because that's going to require a lot of materials and we still need food. So we may actually just bug out of here. What time is it? 17.05. Yeah, we're going to need to get food for today and tomorrow, so we're going to have to go do that now. But this thing is, you know, almost there. All we got to do is install the power and run some temporary um, electric fences along the outside here. Uh, normally when you, like, not normally, but when you build this base, what you want to do is, like, right here and right here on all four corners, we're going to dig down one block, and the wire fence is going to sit down one so that it's actually at foot level when the zombies come in. We're going to run the wires this way from this one. They're going to run this way and that way. And then from, sorry, from this one, they run straight that way and that's it. From this one, they run straight way and straight that way and that's it. So when you set it up, um, if for whatever reason, one of these corners gets destroyed, you're only losing one side of electric fence. Whereas if you keep looping them through around all the way around the base, if you lose one of them, you lose everything after that point. So the way I got these set up 
or the way I at least I planned the base, so there'd be two electric fences here. Uh, one runs along through this block, right, along the front of this part, because when the zombies come up, they're going to like be stopped right here, right, and it goes through to this side. And then the second one is over one and runs along here, right? So when they first come up, they get shocked right here. You're shooting at them, throwing pipe bombs. If they get through it, they want to do a second fence, and the same thing happens. And they're all connected. Um, sorry, th th like, anyways, th this side's all just one side, and then the same thing there, there, and there. So all four sides have their own independent lines that come down. Uh, and I'm hungry again. All right, so let's get. We go to. The, we're gonna go to the trader, see what he's got for us today, um, and we got to go look for some eggs. Let's have a look. Uh, let's go. Hmm, let's actually mark this on the map like this. So we know where the horde base is, and then let's go. We've been over there a lot. Let's go over here. See if we can find some eggs. So we're gonna deal with you first. Oh. Oh man, I forgot that we had that we built the bat here. Uh, let's pull off you, and we'll go ahead and modify you. Bring that down. Sure felt like a new bat, but it wasn't. All right, now um, I'm going to spend a little bit of time trying to get uh, as many eggs as possible here, and then we'll head back. Excuse me. How are you doing today? Apparently not so well. Well, the sun came out, which now it's made it really hard to find friggin' birds' nests. It was so much easier when it was like cloudy because they're they're so shiny that you can see them really really simply. But now it's like I'm having a hard time spotting them. We found a few things. Got a couple things to sell. Only found two eggs though, which is really shitty. Spotted a coal node here. I'm just going to quickly mine up some coal here. We got a little bit of nitrate powder last night. We got like 600 or something like that. So I'm going to grab a bit off of here. Uh, make some gunpowder. Try and get some more 762 moving tonight. In a few minutes, we'll probably go back to the trader. I've got enough eggs now. I got five on me, I think. Do I? I got five. Um, so that should give me enough for... Um, three bacon and eggs because I got one back at home so we'll get that running tonight and then hopefully the trader when we get back to him in a second here hopefully he's got um, some corn because then we can go ahead and make uh, meat stew making a quick pit stop here before we get back to the traders I want to dig uh, dig up that buried treasure that's right next to us well, not treasure but um, where is it pull us down the, um, actually, let's go ahead and put some stuff in the bike. There's a uh, weapons crate next to us here. We're going to go ahead and loot. Let's bring this down again. That can go back in there. That's fine. All right, a little bit of extra gas, and there should be one right here. Yep. Okay, not bad. I mean, more, than, more than we got it if we didn't stop, you know? Okay, we're not really going to make it to the traders tonight. I mean, we could just barely, but I would rather take some time and look at what he's got tomorrow. So we're just going to stop home here. Call that a day. So we got the horde base mostly built. Um, there's still a few things we need to do. We need to add a roof, and then I think we're going to need vulture protection. So we're probably going to have to do something with that. Let's throw that in there for now. Actually, we'll throw that hammer in there. We can probably sell this other one. Um, so I'm going to gather up some stuff. Let's go inside. Actually, let's just see if we can get a seed off of this guy. Yeah, we did again. Nice. Did we? Wait. We did. Still seem to be doing okay with seeds with that one, but I don't know. We can make mushroom seeds now, which really doesn't help us because you're not gathering enough off of the mushrooms to like... Anyway. It's weird. Like the the um, amount that you get back when you harvest is like lower than the amount that you can make seeds and continue to, to eat stuff with. So I don't understand. Maybe I'm doing it wrong or maybe they fixed it since then, but I don't know. It's bizarre. 
Um, all right, so that's the chime. We're going to call this for today. And when we come back next time, tomorrow is Horde. So most likely what we'll end up doing um, tomorrow is getting the base ready and um, ensuring that all the stuff that needs to be there is there. And then we'll just take on the Horde. And it shouldn't be too bad. We'll, if, if we get some time to go looting, uh, we'll go ahead and do that. Um, but I don't know if we will. We'll have to go check the trader out too in the morning, I think. But we'll go to the Horde base, check the trader, and then just prep for Horde. It, we got enough pipe bombs. I mean, I'm going to try and make some Molotovs tonight with what, the, with what little... Um, we don't really have any fuel anyway. So we're not making any Molotovs then. We're just have to deal with the... How many do we have? 20. That should be plenty. Um, although I could, I could, I mean, I, I could make some grenades, but we need to make gunpowder, so, so I'll probably go ahead and do right now. Anyway, I'm going to end this and end this episode right here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. You can also drop any comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.